Most bicycle saddles on the market inadequately support the rider due to over-reductionist designs. The one-size-fits-all seats do not account for the varying anatomies of riders and can cause severe discomfort, numbness, and even chronic urogenital pathologies. Our team sought to address these issues. We are the Customized Bike Saddle Team, sponsored by the Penn State Learning Factory. I'm Harrison Perrin. I'm Evan Smith. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Riley Pottinger. The objective of this project is to design a system for creating a fully customized bike seat. With our system, a rider can get a bike seat which is perfectly designed for their sit bone distance, weight, and riding discipline. This system has three main components, collecting input measurements from a user, adjusting a CAD file based on those measurements, and manufacturing the seat. The seat is divided into a solid base and an elastomer top. To develop a customizable bike seat system, our team iterated on seat design. This process started by tearing apart bike seats and modeling the seat out of clay. We 3D printed elastomer tops with different shapes to test how comfortable different elastomer tops were. We also tested different materials for 3D printing to create a bike seat with the correct stiffness. We investigated several methods of measuring the human sit bone distance including clay, cardboard, and impression foam. These imprinting methods were tested on a group of 10 participants with different weights and sit bone distances. From the study, our team decided to use impression foam to collect input measurements. This is Evan. Evan wants a new bike saddle customized specifically to him. He contacts the smooth riders here at Penn State's Learning Factory and we send him a box of impression foam. After Evan sits in the foam, he sends it back to our team and indicates his weight and riding discipline. We now begin the manufacturing process. First, we measure his sit bone distance from the impression foam. Then, we take this value and parameterize CAD files for the base and elastomer top in SolidWorks. Here, the sit bone distance is used as a global variable to adjust the width of the seat. Parameterizing the CAD files in this way allows for them to be generated quickly with little additional processing. Using the profile from the elastomer top CAD file, a stiffness map is generated for the seat with MATLAB. This stiffness map is used to make the seat stiffer in areas of the seat which need more support, specifically where the sit bones are located, and less stiff in areas of the seat where more soft tissue rests. The customized stiffness map and elastomer top are then imported into an end topology workflow. Based on the stiffness map, the solid top is converted into a lattice with varying thickness and density. The processed end top files are then 3D printed. The elastomer top is printed using an SLA resin printer with a soft, elastic material. The base is 3D printed out of a PLA, a stiff plastic. By doing carbon fiber layups around this PLA core, the seat can be made stronger and remain lightweight. Such a method allows the seat to have a high strength to weight ratio while maintaining customizability. Finally, we assemble all the parts of the seat and send it back to Evan. With this system, riders like Evan can get a customized bike seat to have a more comfortable, safe ride. Look at him go!